Hey, back again with another Collector Pods product video. So, I know a lot of you guys bought the retro vehicles, and these boxes and the box art and everything look awesome. If you're an inbox collector like I am, you want to you want to give these a little bit of protection instead of just having them set out on a shelf naked in the open for dust and all of the enemies of mint inbox stuff. So Collector Pods has released a protective box, a protective case that fit the retro vehicles. Who else makes a protective case for a vehicle set? Nobody that I know of. When I came across these and contacted Collector Pods, we talked for a bit and the guy that owns the company is is a collector and that's why he made this stuff so these products are by a collector for collectors it's definitely uh something that that i appreciate having available for items in my collection because otherwise now, you know, there's a lot of stuff just sitting out in the open here. But otherwise, you know, these retro cases, the retro boxes, sorry, would just be exposed. And I'll show you something pretty cool here. If you've watched the other videos, you know what these do for the appearance of a box figure or vehicle playset, whatever. I'm getting all the tabs folded up here so that I can just put the box straight together. There we go. That end is, uh, no, that end is not closed up. What I do here? <laughs> yeah. Tab A into slot B like this. Now it's together. It's closed on that end. So I'll keep my tabs and everything toward the back. Here we have the GI, the retro GI Joe Awe Striker, and oh no, this might actually not be for the Awe Striker. So the the Awe Striker and Hiss have a slightly different sized box. Come on. Have a slightly different sized box than the fang and this one is specifically sized for the fang it's kind of weird they did that i would have thought that they would have gone with the exact same size box for the hiss awe striker and fang doesn't make a whole lot of sense that they made the Fang a slightly smaller box, but they did, and Collector Pods has answered the call for that, not leaving it out, because it is a great looking box. Oh man. So this protective case really makes this pop and shine. That is awesome. And you can still see the figure and everything that's included. Here's the back. This is impressive to me. I'm not going to drop this one. I have faith in the product, but I'm not going to drop it just to prove that it'll work, but it does offer uh, impact protection. The box is rigid enough to protect it and yet has enough give that it'll absorb the shock and, and won't damage, shouldn't damage the, uh, the protective box. But this is awesome. I mean, this is almost an exact fit for this box for the uh, Fang box. And like I said, the Fang box is a little bit smaller than the Striker box. Like I said, that's that's very odd to me. So let's go ahead and uh, get the Striker packaged up here. I think this one's gonna fit it. I'm pretty sure that I only got one, uh, one for each retro vehicle that I have. Get that film peeled off here. The film's real easy to peel off. Uh, this one's going to come off in two pieces. 
normally they've come off in one piece, but I mean, it just peels right off. It's like a static cling. It's not, uh, it's not adhesive or anything. So we get the box formed up here. And they do offer protective cases for other products as well. They offer protective cases for Nintendo games um, and a few other things. Uh, also for classified, for boxed classified figures and for Marvel Legends. And I have a couple of those that I will show you in another video whenever I make the video for their... Uh, classified case usually i'm not a huge fan of most cases like fit being made to fit multiple things but i also understand that from a production standpoint uh, it's expensive to make something for each individual one sometimes so let's get the another damn near perfect fit i mean this is this is great perfect fit for the awe striker let me get it tabbed in here and get everything closed up that really makes a nice looking display All of the colors pop, and I cracked that one. That's the second time that I've done that. But again, probably my fault for the way that I was bending it. So, there we go. Awe Striker in a collector pod. Can't tell me that doesn't look fantastic. And there we have the back. And I also have the uh, the Hiss and the Hiss 3 down here that I'll put into boxes as well. We don't have to do that on film. You get the point. We've got it for the, the Fang and we've got the uh, the Awe Striker and the Hiss. Uh, the Awe Striker and the Hiss both have the same size box. The Fang is just a little bit smaller. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out the description for links to Facebook groups and the Action Media Reviews Teespring. Click on that link and you can get t-shirts and all kinds of other merchandise to help support the channel. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Yo, Joe.